What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over audiences and targeting for Instagram advertising. In part one of the complete guide to Instagram advertising, I went over how to set up your Instagram ad account, your business manager. In part two, I went over the ad objectives for Instagram, what you should use, what we use, and how to get best results there. In this video, I'm gonna go over audiences and targeting. Uh, if you want to target based on interests, behaviors, demographics, uh, and then we're going to also go over how to reach people who are engaged, who follow you, who like your stuff on your Instagram account, and then also people who watch your videos on your Instagram account as well. Alrighty guys, so in this we're going to go over audiences and targeting based on interests and geolocation, uh, which essentially just means where you're located, right? Um, and to do this, you just go click create an ad, choose an objective like we talked about yesterday, and then in this, this will be the ad set where we're gonna go over audiences and targeting. So to choose your audience, you really need to define who you're wanting to go after, right? So uh, we work with real estate agents and mortgage loan officers, so what we would do is choose a radius around where we wanna live, right? If we've got a listing or if we have a list of homes or if we have a lending campaign, specific to the area that we're in, we want to choose an area where we want to get most of our business, right? So the first thing we're gonna do here is click on locations here, right? We're gonna choose uh, people who live in this location because a lot of people travel through, I'm in Dallas, right? So a lot of people travel through the DFW area and we don't want to reach those folks. We want people, we want people who live in the DFW area, so we're gonna choose that. And then this is where you get into the very specific area. So if you're a loan officer, you can choose a state. So you could choose Texas, California, whatever you want. Uh, if you're a real estate agent, you might want a more refined approach, which is the city you live in. So you could do Frisco, Texas. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I would limit the radius here. I'm gonna go all the way down to 10. So I'm doing a 10 mile radius of pretty much everybody who lives in Frisco, 18 and above, right? So uh, then you want to choose an age range that is appropriate for the ad that you want to, to promote, right? So if we're doing uh, an ad for first time home buyers, is, if that is the niche that you as a real estate agent or a loan officer work the most, then you would want to choose an age range appropriate for that, right? So, you know, 25 to 35 would probably be a good range for that. If you have snowbirds or whatever you want to do, people who want to downsize a home, you'd probably do 55 and above. Um, if you want people who want to upgrade from, uh, you know, a three bedroom to a four or five bedroom, then you would choose people probably in their 30 to 50 range. Uh, that's a pretty wide range. Uh, and then go based on that, right? So age is determinant on your niche and the ad that you're actually um, promoting, right? Uh, if you're in fitness and you want to promote younger folks, then you'd obviously want to do that. If you want to promote to uh, people in their middle age, right, you do 40 to 55. Um, it really depends on what you're looking to do. So for this uh, ad, we're going to work with real estate. We're going to work with first-time home buyers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 25, which is actually on the young side. Typically, it's about 27. Uh, or 28 first time home buyers, but we're gonna stick with 25 to 35. And you can expand that, right? You can do 25 to 40. We're just uh, kind of going off the cuff here. So you can see here, if we're just doing people who live in a 10 mile radius of Frisco who are 25 to 35, then we're going to reach 180,000 people just off of that. And then what you can do is say, well, I don't really speak any other language. So we have quite a quite a few English, uh, excuse me, Spanish speaking folks here. So what I'm gonna do is type in English and that's just a personal preference. Um, and then from here, what you can do is you can go based off of what your niche is, right? So for first time home buyers, what are they really looking to do? Are they renting? You know, what is their status, right? So you want to do renting, Let's see what that does. So that is an interest. And then you can go based off suggestions, right? So you can do house hunting. Uh, you can look at young professional. That would be a good one. People who are interested in Zillow, you can do millennials. That would be a good one. Um, you can do first time home buyer. That would be a good one. 
and then just see based off of those results what happens, right? So starter home would probably probably be a good one. A young professional would be a good one. Millennials would be a good one. A single family detached home might be a good one. Uh, and then you want to, I would say that's a good start. You know, you've got 21,000. I would expand my radius. I would go to probably 15, see what that does. I've got 50, under 50,000, which is actually for being super niched down into the age, into the interests. That's actually a decent starting point, uh, anywhere from 50 to 100,000. If you're looking for buyer leads, that's a good start. If you're looking for seller, seller leads, you obviously wouldn't want to target um, first time home buyers, uh, but what you would want to do is uh, be around that 50,000 mark on the potential reach. So that is uh, audiences and targeting. Uh, if you're not in the real estate space, some other cool things that you can do is you can target based off the income. Uh, you can do household income in the top 50%, top 10 to 25%, and those are based on zip codes. Uh, to my understanding, that's just pretty much city data, so you can go and find that on Google. I did that. Um, I did a video on targeting for real estate specifically. Uh, I'll link that in the description below. Uh, but some other cool things that you can do here is you can do married, so you can do relationship status essentially. You can do married. Um, you can even do like divorced. Um, you can do based on job title. So if you're a real estate agent, you don't really want other people, other real estate agents looking at your ads. So you would look up, you know, real estate agent, you could do job title. Or what are those real estate agents interested in, right? So it would be National Association Real Estate or Realtors. Choose that and that would probably narrow you down a little bit, right? And you're excluding all of those people who are real estate brokers and people who are interested in National Association of Realtors, right? Uh, some other cool things here, you can just go and browse here. You can see all of the demographics uh, based on education. You can see you know, what their field of study is. You can see if they're uh, in their undergrad. You can see if they do have a college grad, doctoral degree, things of that nature. And then you can see financial, we went over that a little bit based on income. You can go over to life events. So you can say, hey, these people uh, have an anniversary coming up or they have a birthday coming up. And if you ever, like if you work with restaurants, a beautiful ad and ongoing is you could have people whose birthday is coming up and give them an offer specific to their birthday, right? That's a cool one. There's so much that you can do um, with the interests, behaviors, and demographics within the audience targeting uh, within the Facebook ads platform for Instagram advertising. If you guys have any questions about that, leave it in the comments below. Uh, the last thing I wanna show you is how you can target people who are interacting with your Instagram profile, right? And people who have looked at your video. So if we go to uh, the asset library here, how to get to the asset library you'll click on the hamburger menu up here hover over all tools and then under assets you'll see audiences if you click that you will be on this page and then what we want to do is create an audience here and create a custom audience and then from here you'll click on engagement on the very bottom and then we want to choose people who are interested or interacting with our Instagram profile page, right? So what we want to do is create a list of people who have interacted with your Instagram profile. So we choose that and say, hey, these are people who, uh, and then you would choose your page, right? So you could do any of these. Your, your Instagram uh, page will be here. Uh, in the very first video that I did on the complete guide to Instagram ads, I showed you how to connect your Instagram profile and it does need to be a business profile so for this we're just going to keep this and we're what we want to do is create a few right so people who have interacted in the past year in the past 90 days in the past 30 days so what i'll do is say um you know cbw uh 365 days um i would say engaged 365 days create audience i would click that then I would go create another audience and do 90 days and just change this. Click create audience, come back, 30 days, come back, 
30 days, create audience, right? That's what you want to do so that you have everyone who engages with your Instagram business page over the past year, 90 days, 30 days. And then you can create ads specifically to those people wherever they are in that process, right? Um, and then there are some things here that you can do specifically, right? So anyone who visited your profile, people who engage with a post or an ad, people who sent you a message to your Instagram uh, profile page, people who saved any post or an ad, right? We just want to target everybody. If you have an ad specific to, like if you get a ton of messages within your Instagram business page, then you can do an ad specifically to those people. Most people I would say don't really have that, so I would just choose everybody who engaged and create those audiences. And the last thing I wanna show you is how you can create an audience of video views from your Instagram page, right? So you go to create audience, custom audience, we'll go to engagement again, and then here you would choose video. And then you would go to the video that you would want, right? So people who viewed a certain percentage of your video, you do, I would recommend doing 25% or more, um, if not 50%. And what you can do is you can even create audiences specifically for each of these, right? So your audience name would be uh, the name of the video. So you would just do video name, 25% uh, views, viewed, and you come here, 25% viewed and choose the video that you have, right, from your Instagram page. So you choose this, Instagram profile, and then you choose the video that you want to show. So I've got 7,450 video views from Instagram and Facebook on this video. If I click confirm, then I would choose the video uh, with 25% viewed of that video, right? I would choose that audience, and then I would come back I would say 50%, I would X this out, choose that same video, choose that same video, confirm, and then I would do 50%, right? 50% viewed, create audience, go back, 75%. You would keep doing that until you have all of those, um, because what would happen is if you've got 7,000 people, you may have, you know, 25% went through half that video, you've got 10% that went through the full video, uh, and you want to target those people specifically with ads with where they're, they're at, right? Especially if it's a longer, you know, if, if you're doing Instagram and you've got minute long and you've got somebody through 75% of the video, they watched 45 seconds of that video, which is really cool. And you want to target those people because they're probably interested in whatever you have to say, right? So that is audiences and targeting for Instagram advertising. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.